Hello and welcome to ARCA. We are at Nashville Fairgrounds here today and we are the number one car, which uh, could spell danger for me <laughs> and my uh, hopes for I rating and such because I don't think I'm very good here. But we're going to give it our best. I'm still looking forward to it because I think we could have ourselves a fun race. I hope. You're all uh, clear. Stay short track's just not Forgot typically to my to cup of tea. I mean, I still enjoy the races once in a while, but I'm just not too good at them. But we'll see what we can do. Gonna try to get myself a good Q lap. Not exactly green, sure green. how much grip we're gonna have out okay. here. here the conditions really seem to be switching up. During the practice session I was doing. Really depended on, uh... Lap for Ulan, How the, sorry, it's hard to focus. One more lap. Focus and talk here at the same time. Really was depending on how much rubber was on the track and how much usage was going on. I felt like so. Ugh. Really pushed it through one and two that time. All right, how was that? 18.6 is the best I've done so far. Looks like it's P2 for now. I anticipate dropping some more though. Hey, we're right there though. We're right there at the top. Not too far off of the leader there in the number two. I hope we don't start on the outside front row, but that's where we are right now. Kind of happy I was able to pull that one out of my hat. As you saw, that was the best lap I've run yet. I think it really uh, paid off to drive into the corner a little bit harder. Boy, that is scary though. Very easy to snap here if you're not careful. Oh, yep, just like that. Very nearly spun it, so I'm not going to push too hard during the race, I don't think. Trying to be smooth. I kind of like this lane right around where the, uh, you can see that seam about one lane up on the track. Right there that I'm driving over right now. Seems like kind of keeping it around that line's been working. I watched Nick's race here, and he's really good at short tracks, and did a pretty darn good job in this combo as well. I feel like that helped me get an idea of where to run. Always appreciate being able to watch Nick, Gavin, and others run the races and get an idea of what to expect, especially uh, since I've been away for a bit. Getting back into this. Fortunately, it looks like we're going to end up P2. Which is not my favorite thing in the world, but we uh, should be able to survive, I hope. I guess uh, we're at least ahead of a lot of people if there is a big wreck. How many people we got left to go? We got five. They could easily pass me still. Twelve? They look like they had uh, an incident there. And qualifying, not sure if they're still going. Um, hello to Tobias, by the way. Uh, he, in the practice session before this, said hello. And uh, said he's uh, been watching from Sweden, which is just, that blows my mind, man. That is the coolest. Always really cool to hear uh, people say they watched before. And uh, to hear people on entire different continents are watching. That's just the coolest thing in the world to me, man. So, good luck to him. Um, good luck to everybody. Hopefully it's a good race. 2.5k strength of field, and we will be getting started here in about 42 seconds or so. I think it's probably going to be one of those cases, as with many short tracks, that the tire heat's going to be the thing to worry about, so we've got to avoid sliding around too much, and if we can do that, and uh, at the very least not kill the right front probably, I think we'll probably be okay. Um, just got to keep it consistent. I moved my steering ratio to 12 to 1 because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And uh, I got 60% of the brake bias to get some turn in. I wasn't having any, any uh, trouble on entry when I was getting on the brakes, so... Uh, that was feeling all just fine to me. Fortunately, have not dropped down at all. We will be starting outside front row. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this halfway respectively. Respect... Respectably? Blah, 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 blah. Let's see if I remember how to talk somehow respectably. 
but we are going to be gridding. All right. And Tobias starting in 17th. That might be smart. He might be the smart one here. <laughs> Staying out of the chaos and taking advantage of uh, those who get caught up in it, which hopefully will not be me. Where's your exact strength of field? There in the 2500s. Right. What gear are we going to start in? Probably second gear? Maybe third gear? I think when I watched Nick, he was in third gear. If I, uh, unless I'm misremembering, I did watch a couple videos, so I might be mixing different things together, but we'll test it out here and see how, uh, how things are feeling. Uh, we got 146 laps of fuel. <laughs> So uh, I think we're, we're going to be a little tight. We might have to save a little bit if we want to complete the fifth race. Might have to save a little bit of fuel. So we're just we're just packing this thing full of fuel, so that way when we crash, we can have a nice big explosion. Maybe set off a chain reaction. Have some fireworks here. I'm sure the uh, Nashville residents here uh, will love that noise. I know they love all the noise around there, right? That's what they're always complaining about when they're talking about bringing Nashville Fairgrounds back to bigger NASCAR the events. I got the people the complaining about the noise. I moved in next to a speedway and uh, it's loud. I can't believe this. Make it stop. I'm sure a big chain reaction explosion of all the cars will be nice and quiet. So, let's test these gears here. Second gear. Probably gonna be it. Gonna have to test for tire spin and everything too, though. Oh yeah, second gear. We're plenty fine in second gear. Third gear would be much too much, I think. So I was probably thinking of a different, different race, different combo. Ugh. It's gonna be so hard to see when he goes. I'm a little bit nervous about this start. If we can at least get a half decent jump, One to go. Next time by. then we should be okay to not get run over. Maybe I can keep uh, his quarter panel in my rear view and see him jump from there. Don't want to beat him to the line either though. Uh, I hate doing this man, but not really any room for triple monitors on my desk or in my bank account, so. Okay, that wasn't so bad. He clears us, but we didn't uh, completely botch it, so I'll take it. Okay, he's a little slow in exit. That's fine. Don't run him over. Oh my god, we're about to get hit. Holy cow, dude. Had to dodge him. That guy is being pretty aggressive. Please don't run me over. I prefer not to drive scared, but that was scary. I was ready to take my normal line in the corner and suddenly there was a car below me. I feel like that was close enough to be in uh, net code range. He could have killed us. Thankfully, we're okay. We can drive away a little bit. Maybe that'll make us faster if I'm driving in fear and wanting to get away from him. I can drive faster. Take a bit of a higher entry. Cut down a little bit, maybe? Nope, that just got me very loose. Don't do that again. Filed that one under bad ideas. Alright, take it easy. Don't slide around a bunch. That's exactly what I said I don't need to do. So I just gotta remember what I said to myself. Don't slide it around. Keep it smooth. Slide it anyway. And, uh, give it a nice finish, right? Easy peasy. Oh my god. 
This is on edge, man. This car. I just gotta be careful. We got some space behind us already. They, uh, I guess, are fighting side by side. So maybe I should back it down a little bit. Take it easy on the thing. Everything will be all right. <laughs> Don't need to light the world on fire with our laps here. I am running a little bit lower than I said I wanted to run, so maybe I need to go up a lane. Ooh, something happened. I see a bunch of smoke. No one talking about it, though. Could have just been a self-spin of some sort. Car, download, That's download. not what you want to hear. Go We're good. They get off the track. I like how much space we got behind us. I'm, I have much more pace than I thought I would have. In practice, I wasn't feeling that fast. I was about 10th fastest out of everybody. But I guess I did get into the session a bit late. Time was 19.1. Seen that coming. Jesus. Something happened. I see smoke. There's evidence. See the guy that was in P4 on the relative as well, so there was some sort of accident that thankfully we are not a part of. Hopefully Tobias made it through and is uh, being rewarded for his starting spot in the rear. Drive a little harder next time, Don. Might work out better for you. The captain Bullard ahead is now 0.8. Kind of just maintaining that gap with the guy ahead. That might be exactly what he's wanting to do. He could potentially have pulled away, maybe, if he wanted, and is choosing to just maintain. But I'm content with the fact that we're just maintaining. I don't think I'm faster than he is. But maybe if we uh, keep in his rear view, he can't just relax. Got almost three seconds behind us, which is great. I love not having that pressure behind us. Cast off their load. Oh boy, there's another one. Go on. Oh! He's spinning around. That's another thing that happened in Nick's video, I, be if, I believe. I think I'm remembering that. Guys, someone like spun out and then decided to spin themselves around right in front of the leader. So I guess that's something we should watch out for. Whoa! The two almost spins it. Looking like me out here. Okay, Colton. Hey, maybe that's that pressure we're hoping to put on him. Never know what can happen. I kind of started running a little bit higher and cutting down. I know I said don't do that earlier, but I feel like it's kind of working so long as I don't overdo it. Wiley. Don't know if I liked that too much. He looks like he's gathered it back up. Lap time was at 'll stop drove that spun myself into the corner 
last lap was a 19.5. He looks like he's so yawed out, but he's got it under control. It is feeling like it's maybe getting a little looser for me, which is making me nervous. I feel like my pace is slowing down as a result. I almost hit the wall. Careful now. He's pulling back away. Third place is catching me a little bit as well. Not too concerned about it. I'm doing much better than I thought I would. Whoa, and I haven't spun out yet. I'd like to keep that true. Let me try a lower entry here, driving a little bit harder, see what that does. Eh, didn't really work. That was a uh, 19.6. Okay, that kind of did though. It's the wall. Ooh, okay. It's a little bit of time for us. Float guard down low. Coming off uh, down low. Go high. And more wreckage, but we're good. No, here's the map. I just don't quite have the feel for it. I feel like I'm entering the corner is really, you know, uneasy. Like I've got uneasy footing and I'm kind of just taking my time to find where I've got grip, whereas if I wanted to be fast I'd just be confidently driving in there, you know what I mean? Kind of tiptoeing around when I should be full on sprint. If I try that, I'm going to spin, so that's the problem there. We're still in his rear view mirror, though. I could get him to mess up. Got lap traffic coming up as well, which could be very interesting. They're fighting side by side up there as well. You've just done a Ooh, I drove them way too hard. Oh boy, this is going to be very interesting when we catch up to these guys. They're not going to want to just give up on their fight, even if we are coming up on them. Uh oh, someone's wrecking. Hey, the next car's the leader. Hold up the leader a bit, I think. Maybe not. I was busy having a bad one and two anyway. Two point five seconds behind. I think we can hold on to that, barring any mistakes. I don't even know if I'm faster than this lap car right now. Engine Tires are kinda of hot. Oh god, don't correct under me, please. Car inside. Ah! Clear inside. Leader has to hold the wheel, uh, turn the wheel a bunch to keep on the bottom of the other guy ahead. That got him loose. 
Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to win that way. Oh man, you kidding me? That sucks. Well, we're in first. That is a huge bummer though. Well, that's good news for us, I guess, but that kind of sucks. We were not the fastest guy here today, but I guess that's just what happens sometimes. Fifteen definitely didn't do it on purpose. I think he was just uh, racing hard and not really letting the guy go. And, and uh, he was having trouble getting around him just because it's tough to pass here no matter what. I think the 15 got loose just like that and ended up in his door. So this is a little scary. I gotta get by him now. Car outside, five. Five to go. Outside is clear. Keep it up. We're in a great spot. Stay low. Stay low. To be around this guy. Clear high. Car outside. He's definitely not backing off. Still there. Outside is clear. Okay, we survive. Maybe the smart thing to do would have just to been sit behind him because we had the room, but I don't know. The uh, seven's only 1.5 back at this point, so that might not have been an option. Just given a ton of room. That lap was at 19.9. So, uh, I guess we're gonna, barring anything happening here, luck into one, as they say. Two left to go. Two to go. What was it like Kyle Busch said about Alex Bowman once? Like, oh, he backed up into another one. The same guy who always... <laughs> Today I am Alex Bowman, I guess. I need one more good lap. One more good lab, we have no reason to even get close to anybody else. One more lap to go, stay focused. Just ease it through here and get the win with an asterisk. Righty. That's a win. Great job. Well done. You won. Yeah, we did it. Too bad it wasn't for a million. Too bad it wasn't for a million. Alright, we will pull it over. Do -do -do. There we go. Yeah, that sucks for the two. Uh, 92.89. Wow, look at that. We we're on the right rear. I didn't quite expect that, but I guess there's a lot of banking here, so that does make sense. So I guess I could have been entering a little bit harder, maybe. Balancing that out. Not sure, but I guess whatever I did kind of worked. Uh, where did Tobias finish? Yeah, he didn't. He wasn't letting uh, anyone by. What are you talking about, dude? Do, 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 thanks. Definitely wrong car, man. Definitely wrong, wrong car. I think he's uh, calling out the wrong guy. <laughs> uh, top five. Yeah, it was the um, to do, do. We'll go through and look at the incidents, and we'll see everything that happened. A little loud. Who was the guy that ran into him? Yeah, I don't know. So we'll go through here. Number nine's getting into the wall on lap six. 
Ooh, the tin cracks, they all kind of bounce off each other. You're talking to the wrong car. I was never anywhere near you the whole race. Yeah, I think it was the 15. That uh, was causing problems for the number two. Oh, the 11 gets loose and clips the three. That sucks. So we had the, the incident happening up there with the spin, and then the 11 spins, and the three just barely had some bad luck. Yeah, he figured it out. <laughs> the two was uh, mad at the wrong guy. He's kind of trying to help him out there and be like, yeah, the number 15, wink wink, fought me hard too. <laughs> uh, the nine in more trouble, unfortunately, here. Although, yeah, that was on him. I don't. He just never turned into the corner, oddly enough. I don't know if he thought he was at Nashville Super Speedway and thought he had more straightaway to, to go, but... Uh, Huh. Yeah, yeah, content for the video. Have a good one. Yeah, good job to him to get that top 10 from the back. Like I was saying, maybe it's smart sometimes just to start in the back and let the uh, spots come to you. Get guys uh, out here spinning. The Nine's having a rough one. It's kind of falling apart on him. Oof. Rough day at the track. That really stinks. Lap 34. A little bit of blinkage for the two. Here's the incident with the 15. He just comes off the wall. He got loose. It wasn't on purpose by any means, but you can see like the 15, uh, he's just not letting him by. And I think that's just something you, you kind of have to know that it's going to be hard even for a faster car to get around here around you here when you hang on the outside like that so you kind of just have to do that move where you know Lear's coming by back off early let him clear you and then kind of just file in you know kind of like you're going to do an undercut or you know a crossover rather but just uh, filing behind him saves you some uh, speed you get some time loss even while letting him go through and uh it certainly saves you more time than whenever you have to be side by side for several laps because you know the two's getting frustrated he's trying to get by him because he knows i'm on his rear end you know gaining time here so the two's pushing hard and then he just won't let him go and then because he's racing way too hard trying to f hold off a guy, uh, the leader for no reason he gets loose and wrecks him which that really sucks so and that was that looks uh the last thing that happens it looks like so we get the win, but with an asterisk. Um, at least the two was still able to get a top five, which is impressive. It looks like he took a hard hit to the nose. So uh, I guess that's uh, probably not too much of a consolation for him, but at least he didn't blow it up and end up in last. I'm sure he'll be able to get him next time. He was definitely the fastest car here today, it looked like. But the race results page will show that we were the winner. And we get 30 I rating for it, 152 championship points. And uh, hey, we were pretty competitive with the fastest lap times. You know, we we're right there. He got the fastest one, but we were pretty close. So we kept the pressure on him. And uh, thankfully, we we're able to take advantage of the unfortunate circumstance he found himself in and uh, led the final nine laps. So that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. We get the win. Somehow, I, I did not expect to be too good here, but I guess it kind of just works out sometimes. I will take it. 
<laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.